So I've gotten this requested a lot. It's how to add a screen pack to Mugen. A screen pack is basically if you open up your Mugen and it looks like this, this is technically a screen pack. It's the default Mugen screen pack. You get everything here. We got young Rio from the previous video there. And it, it's just that. It's, it just looks like that. Let's say you don't like the way that looks or you kind of want it to look like, say, a game you grew up with, a classic, or some sorts like that. I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, again, you want to download WinWar. And if you're looking for screen packs, the best place to get them are Mugen websites like the Mugen Fighter Guild, Mugen Ar Archive. Uh, some of them you have to join and make a couple posts. Don't worry, it's free to join. Like the Mugen Archive, it's probably the best one to join. And you just got to post in the general discussion or anywhere. I think it's like five or ten posts. And afterwards, you can download whatever you want from that website. It's great. Go ahead. Do that. Now, um, let's say you don't have the screen pack that's already pre-installed and you have to install screen pack yourself. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. You see here, this is a Marvel vs. Capcom screen pack. It's going to look like Marvel vs. Capcom. But that's what I'm going to do. I like that game. Marvel vs. Capcom 1. So we're going to extract here. And we're going to look for the folder. It just popped up right in the corner here. So if you notice, there's spaces in this folder name. You don't want any spaces. Get rid of the spaces. Or you could just rename it something else. In fact, I'm just going to name it MVC for Marvel vs. Capcom. And you're going to see in here, you have a data folder, Marvel vs. Capcom, and you have all this stuff. Don't touch anything just yet. You want to take the original folder we have, move it into your data folder in Mugen. Okay? Did that. Now you want to go to your Mugen CFG file. Open that up. Scroll down to motif, what it says right here. Motif equals data forward slash system dot def. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because the Marvel vs. Capcom one, it goes all the way. So you got to follow wherever it goes. So when it comes to the Marvel's Capcom one, we changed it to MVC. So it's going to be data forward slash MVC forward slash because you go in there and it's going to be data again. So we're going to copy and paste that forward slash MVC, whatever this is, just copy, paste that hit forward slash that and then last but not least this is very easy forward slash system dot def so if you're doing the Marvel's Capcom one that you just followed me doing it should look like this data forward slash MVC capital M lowercase v capital C forward slash data forward slash capital M lowercase v Capital C C O S H forward slash system dot def. You hit file, save, and now when we open up Mugen, we should have ourselves a lovely Mugen that looks like and sounds like Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Let's check it out. Look at that. We got the intro and everything. Capcom it's that simple, it's that easy. Marvel and if you don't believe me, we go right in. You got arcade versus team arcade, team versus all that. You go into arcade. Bam, we got our characters that are in here. And not only that, it comes pre-installed with so many character slots. Again, this is only for... Well, this method works with any screen pack that isn't already pre-installed. You just have to make sure you write it down right. My name is Clinker Roth. Check out my other Mugen tutorials if you're trying to get into Mugen. This also, I believe, works with Mugen 1.0, 1.1, and I want to say it works with Eichmann Go. I'm not 100% sure about that last one. But I hope this tutorial was very informative for you. For those looking to install their own screen pack that can't find a pre-screen pack. Wow, that's loud. And I hope you all have a pleasant day. Thank you all so much for watching.